Hey, I want to show you what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know, I said last time. Uh, this hanger right here, this line, kind of scared me. Like I said, it, it broke when I was putting the shaft up there. It's a slippery pulley right there. I'm trying to wear the uh, varnish off. Somebody, I bought that on eBay, and somebody uh, made it real pretty. Buffed it up and varnished it. It is a pretty little pulley. But it makes it kind of slippery. I need to tighten the belt up. But I'm really only running one side right now. And I'm making a, a I'm making a, a, a little hole down. Drilling a piece of stainless here. I'm gonna make a hole down for this uh, my drill index. So when I'm traveling, it'll be inside the trailer. I'm just gonna put a couple little tabs right here, and uh, so I'll drop drop a five sixteenths bolt in there just to hold it back. Of course, I'll have to take all the drills out when I'm when I'm uh, towing the trailer but what I was showing here was uh, like I said this this one up here now I I got rid of my high pitch twine which was very irritating and all it was was a uh, for whirling around here but it was that pulley right there and it was just slipping tighten it up a little bit now I have it doing what I want instead of the pulley slipping on the shafts when I start it up the, the belt slips over this pulley which is a lot better I think but uh Anyway, I calculated out this big, my big pulley, my four foot diameter, and uh, at 147 RPMs, the surface speed on that, which is a little over 1800 feet per minute, comes out to about 21 miles an hour. And I started thinking, I'm going to take this out to the shows and there's going to be family and kids and uh, that, that little, these uh, hangers are, they're all over 100 years old, cast iron. So if you look at that one right there, what I did was uh, I put a safety. To, uh, if that hanger breaks, which I'm 99% sure it won't, but because I'm going out in the, the fair with the families and the kids, uh, I felt I had to put some kind of safety device. So that's just a piece of uh, eight inch skid 40 that uh, goes around the, the shaft and the bearing. And if the uh, hanger gives it up, that will hold it. The other end, already uh, Murphy's Law, when these things go through, they'll they'll go right through the, the support structure. And when I put this up here, I already put a, a piece of pipe in there and uh, doubled it up and uh, that'll support it from that end. And I had uh, that, uh, this holds the belt on. When it slides like that, I'm not running this other side. My uh, 15 amp TFI has a tendency to trip when I run both, both uh, two horse motors on it. Since I'm just drilling right now, I'm turning this side on. So 
this this little pulley here, my varnished up pulley, sits real good. I do have the belt pretty loose, and that's okay. Got to slip someplace when you put these things uh, together. You want your you want to have some uh, give someplace. And, and what I do here with my drill press is, uh, this is so cool. Now, it doesn't have power feed or back gears or nothing. It's the cutest little uh, Kennedy Auto Camelback drill press. Uh, but what I do is, uh, this is my feed right here. And uh, I put this pipe on here, the gravity feed, so that it, uh, it takes its time, but I set it up, and I turn around and walk away, and when it's done, the uh, arm falls down, pipe hits the ground, and it's my alarm system to let me know that the hole's drilled. So, set it up, set it, and forget it. There we go. All right, talk to you later.